Will it move it? Mm -hmm. Give me a profile. Hey, put, put it on both your hands, man. Be too fisted with this. Now, what do you say? This is just sponge, this foam, whatever you want to call it. This is foam, and these are my new puppets. I'm beginning to work with them. still being designed. I'm still building them. Because they have very little body of any at all. They have all heads, and they have mouths that move. And that, and that makes a difference. Between this, doing like this, and doing like this, and then, hello there! How are you? And how are you? And what is your name? And what is your name? Give me some of that! This is interesting because I'm looking at I'm looking at the sponge and it's, and it's, it's easier you know, they're, they're 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 more primal you know right, as, they are very as, primal as they would say the achievement like more more like a, well, how Europeans say they they're more negroid the negroid features than uh, than I made them particularly negroid features but it'll be easier when you work with foam and puppets to I mean, yes. foam and, and sponges to yes. make to make them more primal yes 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 very much so. Huh. Very, very much so after these long time. Okay. So, now, what, what fascinates you about this? How did you, how did you find out about this? Kevin uh, has a, a website, and when I was looking from for making puppets in the very beginning, I was looking at somebody who made puppets, somebody who worked with puppets, because I wanted him to build me a crocodile at first mm -hmm. when I was doing a roomy line. Mm -hmm. And uh, he wasn't available to do it when I wanted to uh, when I, Remember, I did a room in uh, mm -hmm. with Barbara. And I was trying to get him to build me a crocodile. He didn't have time to build it. But I, I started following his site. And realized the stuff that he was doing was amazing. And then he started having these puppet making workshops. I said, I need to go take one. Not knowing there was sponge. Mm -hmm. So he, I brought in this workshop. I brought me and Glenco the first workshop. And then I brought Scott in because I don't, I'm not really a handy guy with scissors and then cutting and shit like that and boinking. So I chose to send Scott and, and Glenco together to begin building me some puppets out of sponge. And it's light too. Right, and it's light. It's not as heavy because the other thing is heavy. Mm -hmm. This is very light. And you see, as you look on the little video that we made, that you just put a cloth around on the body, you can use your own hand as one of the hands, mm. and you can get it going really, really special. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying it's lighter because there's just more female, you can female paint friendly, it, you know. You can paint it and throw all sorts of things with it. Mm. So I'm not, so I'm really excited about them. these puppets. I have other puppets, but these puppets I'm really excited about. Them. Mm. Mm. They, can get, they can get on the groove. Okay. I can use them as they are. And then where's, Kevin's out of New York too? Kevin's, Kevin's he's in the house. <laughs> His workshop is downtown, mm -hmm. and the, he's part of the Art New York clan, clan mm -hmm. uh, that she works, works, lives in. He actually works out of the Art New York building. His workshop is downstairs in the basement. Uh, Kevin Hawkins, Augustine, and the Lone Wolf Tribe. Mm -hmm. Look him up. Okay.